Moneyball and Sabre metrics are a massive part of football at the moment. Teams in almost every single league on FIFA use them in real life, but it's something that's actually really hard for them to get right. I've made a video on how I used to combine Moneyball with FIFA in the past, but on FC24, almost everything has now changed, and for the better. Today, I'll be showing you exactly how easy it is to use, how it can make your save a lot more fun, and how it can make finding the right player a lot more easy. So just in case you're not sure what Moneyball actually is, let's quickly run through some of the basics. It is a concept that originated around attributes in American baseball, but it quickly spread across to Europe and found its way in soccer. Liverpool were one of the first teams in the world to use it. They hired Jurgen Klopp based on his underlying Moneyball stats, and this not only proved that it could work in Europe, but it also proved it could be very, very successful if you got it right. So let's get on to why Moneyball is actually easier now on FC24. Well, it all comes down to the new tactical system. If you've played a single minute of career mode, you'll know that the first thing you're asked to do in every single FC24 save is choose a tactical style. You might pick long ball, tiki taka, or gegenpress. It doesn't actually matter when it comes to Moneyball. The new tactical visions are absolutely massive when it comes to implementing Moneyball into your save though. Once you're through hiring coaches, we can get into the new changes that really make things better. Head over to the scouting hub and this is where one of the biggest improvements to career mode in years can be found. Instead of needing to manually check every single player to see if they fit into your tactics, now we can straight up scout players based on the style of play. You can find long ball defenders, you can find ticky tacky midfielders and you can find kick and wrist strikers, whatever you you need however you play it can be found in the new scouting hub okay so how does a baseball philosophy actually apply to career mode well it actually works in exactly the same way to how it works in real life Moneyball in FC24 revolves around analysing players' attributes in-game, and I mean really getting into the details of some of these numbers. You can get a pretty good idea about how a player will feel and how good they'll be based on things like agility and balance, and then we all have preferences for things like strength and pace, but you'll need certain amounts of each in certain areas of the pitch. Because Moneyball is all about finding underrated players, on FIFA it's all about finding players with attributes in underrated areas. Every single position on the pitch has a different weighting for every single attribute that's involved with this position. For example, short passing on a midfielder is weighted higher and will contribute more to their overall rating than short passing is on a centre back or a left back. You find the ones that matter the most to you and look for players who are high in these areas. That's basically how Moneyball works. We're basically trying to find players who are not very popular but have the ability to play way over their overalls. It's not only the attributes that you should be looking at as well. Things like work rates, body types and age will all contribute to the Moneyball's algorithm. Of course, you can do this in-game manually. There's only a few steps to actually deciding which stats matter to every single player. If you're pressing or match, of course, you'll probably be looking for regression and stamina to be high in every single position. This can help your tactic both score more goals, which increases XG, and also concede less goals, which is also very important if you want to win more matches. Long ball tactics might need rigidity at the back and physicality at front, so you'll be looking for long passing at the back, strength jumping and heading for strikers. I know a lot of this sounds fairly obvious, but this is exactly how the new scouting system works in FC24. All of this is now done for you. Annoyingly, you can't do the same thing for youth players, but you can still use Moneyball with them and the academy. I'd recommend you just write down a couple of attributes you want in each position. Then I would add another two or three attributes that you want every single player at the club to have high, and that is your new Moneyball style. Let's give some examples of how this would work. If you want to be a tiki taka football, you might want every single one of your players to have really good first touch and really good short passing. This would be the two attributes every player would have. You might want your midfielders to be really strong so that they can hold off players. So this would be certain attributes that are important for certain positions. That's how you can make your own custom Moneyball style in FIFA. Sometimes the scouting filters won't actually give you players that fit. So this is also a pretty straightforward way of making sure every single player that gets scouted will fit your team. Recently, I shared a save on this channel with Wimbledon. It was all about finding players who had aggression that was over 75. I was also trying to find players who were fairly quick, had good acceleration and were composed because these were three attributes that were really important for how I was trying to play a really fast paced, aggressive pressing style of football. Sure, it didn't work out in the end. I ended up getting sacked and you've been watching some of the clips of that save in the background of this video, but that's exactly how you can use Moneyball in basically every single save. 
Okay, so now you know all about Moneyball and how to use it, why should you actually use it? It's all about creating a bit of a new experience inside FIFA. With Moneyball, you can build a squad that's actually quite unique and a one-off squad exactly to how you are and exactly to how you play. It's actually quite fun to put a bit of effort in off the pitch that makes the gameplay on the pitch more fun. I mean, let's be honest, there's only so many times you can actually sign the entire Mexican national team as free agents. Maybe for your next save, someone like Harry Maguire is the right man to captain your defence, maybe Andy Carroll is the striker you need up front. Hopefully I've introduced Moneyball in a quite easy to understand way, but if you've got any questions at all, of course head over to the Discord, tag me in your posts, and I'll try and answer any questions you have. So let's round off this video by looking at some clubs that have already embraced the Moneyball approach and you might even be able to notice some of this approach being affected in the game. You might not realise it, but quite a few big teams actually already use it. We mentioned Liverpool, of course, using save metrics and Moneyball to discover Klopp, but FC Porto use it a lot in South America to discover some really high talent without breaking the bank. Of course, it's a game changer for clubs who have smaller financial resources. It allows them to pick underrated players, prove that they are good enough, and then compete with the giants of the football world. This is the exact type of team that's also the most fun when it comes to FC24. The Danish side Nord Schaeland have obviously combined it with signing a ton of African talent, and this has worked out really well for them. They've sold several for multi-million pound deals to both the French and English leagues recently. Atlanta United built an MLS winning side in one of their first seasons thanks to finding players like Miguel Almiron and Joseph Martinez very cheaply and then again selling them on for a lot more money. Even Bolton Wanderers tried to use it in League 2 with Ian Everett, helping them get back to the third tier at the first time of asking. If you want a team that's unfancied but does have some good players and a decent amount of money for their level, I think that teams in the Premier League, Bundesliga and La Liga relegation zones would probably make the best saves. Don't get me wrong, you could easily do this with Man City or you could even do it with a League 2 team and do a really slow money ball road to glory. But if you're following the exact rules, it would actually probably take you all 15 seasons of career mode just to get from League 2 back up to the Premier League. I think it would still be super interesting to tie a money ball save with someone like Stuttgart or Werder Bremen. Stuttgart have used analytics a ton in the past, but they do need a rebuild on FC24 still. Bremen are a bit more traditional, but again, really need a rebuild. If you want a really hard challenge, why not see if you can make a title winning team with a restriction of let's say 74 overall. I do actually think you'd be able to win the Premier League with a 74 overall team just because I think pace is by far the biggest impact on any team and there's a lot of very lowly rated but very fast players out there. Even people like Ruben Diaz can't keep up with someone with 96 pace so maybe give it a go and see how low you can go. Check out the two playlists on screen right now if you want a little bit more FC24 content. I did use Moneyball in my Notts County Vote to Glory last year, and I tried to use it here and there in the Pentagon Challenge as well. So check out one of them right now. Subscribe if you want to see more FC24 content. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, even if it was a little bit similar to the last Moneyball video I made. But thank you for watching, thanks for your support, cheers, and goodbye.